Various stakeholders enraged in the mission to tackle corruption in Nigeria have stressed the need to ensure that persons with integrity are recognized and commended for their actions. The call was made at the 2023 Anti-Corruption Star Awards yesterday as various Nigerians, including pupils, students, teachers and others, were distinguished for their ethical conduct in their communities. Here's more on the story. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offences Commission, ICPC, and other actors in the anti-corruption industry were on ground at the 2023 Anti-Corruption Star Awards organized by Step Up Nigeria in Abuja on Friday. Speaking at the event, EFCC spokesperson Dele Ewale stated that rewarding integrity was a solution to corruption. He also added that the anti-graft agency's increased clampdown on internet fraudsters is not a war on young people. Around schools, institutions of higher learning, mobilizing our young people against the monster of corruption. If we are fighting internet crimes and we are fighting all other acts of corruption, it is not meant to punish our youth. It is not a war against our youth. Every effort that the Economic and Financial Crime Commission is making in the area of fighting internet, internet fraud should not be construed as a direct uh, war, direct uh, confrontation against our youth. No. It is to reorient them. It is to redirect their energy. It is to redirect their focus. It is to map out a more flourishing, a more robust future for them. It is to make them know that there is no profit in criminality. Also speaking, the provost of the Anti-Corruption Academy of Nigeria, Professor Latunde Babawale, called for a collaborative effort to tackle corruption. Deputy Director Code of Conduct Bureau Simon Abu, on his part, spoke on the work left to be done to check meet all and sundry. While the ICPC and other anti-corruption agencies like the EFCC will continue to do their jobs, may I stress at this point that the fight against corruption is not just for these agencies alone. It's a fight for all of us. Every one of us as citizens has a duty to be a part and we have a part to play I must take responsibility by participating actively. That's why the Anti-Corruption Academy in KP has come to play. So that gradually we begin to, you know, assume the ethos of civility, the ethics of good conduct in our society. It's not going to be a one-two affair to win the war, but gradually we are getting there. The Deputy Director of Program Step Up Nigeria, Andrew Idoko, shed more light on the purpose of the awards. It's a behavior change. Um, fighting corruption is not a one-day job. So when you, you teach these people integrity from a young age, then they just grow into it as that. So you know children, they, 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 um, they act, they pick up things from when they are young and they just run with that at an older age. So when you catch them young and teach them that there's reward for integrity, there's, um, you know, reward in doing good and you show them the difference between right and wrong in the fight against corruption, then I think the world would be a better place. And tomorrow when they're in places of decision making, when they find themselves in places where they're able to influence, you know, decisions, they'll make the right decision. For the event stored the extolling of values and ethical behavior in all age groups to ensure the fight against corruption takes a preventive measure as well as a corrective one.